Good morning, everyone. Thank you. That's a very enthusiastic morning. So does everyone here knows about big data or what interests you to big data? Any show of hands, perhaps? Awesome. So what does the question do? <laughs> yeah, what interests me? Um, I'm trying to use uh, big data of learners, how they're using my platform, how I can apply to make the learning more personalized. So that aspect of big data interests me big time. But I don't have big data yet, so I'm collecting it first. <laughs> That's, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, the reason why I asked earlier is because big data is such a broad uh, perspective. And that's why I started off by saying digital is human, human is data. And the reason why I say that, like this gentleman was saying, he's interested with the learning, the educational aspect of it, where each student, he could monitor it and see how they could help out in terms of the development of that specific students using big data. In th generally, big data, it takes two to three years to collect before you can actually make a proper analysis of it. So if you are starting, that's a good point. But one thing that I would like to highlight is big data is now everywhere, and we are at the era of big data. Sometimes big data is a bit overrated, but let's bring it down to the basics. Each one of us over here, we are a data point. Once we check in to this uh, forum, if you notice the moment we walk in, on the screen, there's a name of a person and stating that this person has just checked in. By, that, by doing so, our being has been reduced to a data. If we go to Facebook, if we go to LinkedIn, all of those are free, um, free to use apps. We're wondering how do these people make money? Well, they're using our data to make money. And when we look at Facebook and whatnot, the news feeds, every single thing, we look at it, we love it because this is what we want to read. Now, how would this machine be able to do it? Simply put, that's because they know our data, they know our interests, they know what we want to do. And when it applies to learning, well, that, that basically says digital is human, human is data. I'll come to the part where data is the foundation of trust because the only person that can't lie to you is data. And that's why this gentleman here and in Princeton University as well, we are collecting data of the students. And over the course of four years, we want to see how do these students perform? Where is the weaknesses? Because imagine this, ladies and gentlemen, if you know exactly how much time your students spend on each presentation slides. Previously in the classroom, we look at your students, they seemingly to be awake, but you don't really know whether they are awake, whether they understand what you're talking about, whether they've spent time trying to understand it. But with technology, you can actually see whether or not your students are spending enough time looking at it, and then later on, looking at the quiz, each uh, for each question, how many minutes they spend on each question and whether or not the answer is correct or not. You can see whether or not your students are actually understanding what you're saying, what your slides is saying, and how you can help to improve them. This has been done in the States, but not so much in Southeast Asia and Asia Pacific, and that's what we try to do in Princeton University as well. But let's get back to the presentation. Um, human goes digital and indirectly produces data. I want to show a statistics that some of you might be aware of already in terms of how much data are we producing each day. Every morning, the moment we wake up, I think if we are married, before we look at our wife or husbands, the first thing we look at is our phone. It's glued to us. We can't get away from it. And the moment we play with our phones, the moment we are connected to the internet, we produce this data. And the number is staggering. For each day, we have 500 million tweeters, more than 4 million videos uploaded to YouTube, 5.75 billion on Facebook, and 6 billion search on Google search. In this conference alone, yesterday, everyone was tweeting every second, every minute that I look at the screen, every single person here in this conference is tweeting. And each tweet, that, my dear ladies and gentlemen, is a data point. The technology is here. Vincent will speak about infrastructure later on, but the technology is here to be able to look at all these numerous data and come up with a conclusion of what do these data say and how this data could help us. 
Now, data collections right now has goes digital. Previously, a lot of us, we go and do surveys. We conduct surveys and see what our customers like, how our customer spending is, and we go to students and ask them, What's, what topics do you like? What books do you borrow? Right now, I want to show you this. This is a new startup in Indonesia called Snapcart.Asia. So what they do is um, they ask the customers to download the app and then upload. Uh, every time you buy something, you'll get a receipt, right? So what they do is you take a picture of those receipts, and in the end of the day, you get cashbacks, you get points. As a customer, the customer would love to do that. You buy something, all you've got to do is snap a picture, upload it into Snapcart, and that's it. But on the other side, how does Snapcart make money? This is the data. What they want to know is they'll tell the vendor saying that this is your customer behavior, this is what they're spending on. And with that, they would be able to make better advertisements campaign. Going back to universities, if the university students, all of them like to read comic books and nobody's reading research papers, and you're like, I want to be a research university, what do you do? You reduce the comics, you increase the number of research papers, and then you look at the, you analyze the data to see why don't your students like research papers? Is it not fun? How do we make it more fun then and engaging? If you know the problems, if you know your goals, you'll be able to find the solutions to it, and data will be able to help you to answer those. So data collections goes digital. This is just one example, but everyday thing, Facebook, Twitter, all of those are data collecting, uh, data collections. Mm -hmm.